Hi there everyone, it's Billy from Billy's Home Life. I have mentioned before in a previous video that I meal plan for the whole month and October is almost over with so I need to start working on November's meal plan and I thought I would take you with me and show you my process for that. So the first thing that I do is I come downstairs to my basement. I have a large stand-up freezer down here and I do an inventory. I write down everything that's in here. I know that sounds like a very tedious, time-consuming uh, process, but it actually only takes me a few minutes because I do keep this freezer organized. So for example, all of my beef is on this shelf here so it only takes me a minute you know count these up you know two four six eight okay i have 19 pounds of hamburger you can see i have two beef roast in here coming down to the next shelf this is my poultry section i have chicken breast i have a whole chicken i have some turkey sausage nuggets uh, thighs drumsticks and this is my pork um, you know so this is pork chops sausage um, bacon in the bottom shelf I have uh, fruits and vegetables after I get done take an inventory in this freezer I go upstairs um, I have just the small freezer that's above the refrigerator so this is the freezer that's in my kitchen, just the small uh, freezer above the fridge. So I just kind of go through here and see what's in here and add that to my inventory. So after I'm done inventorying my freezers, what I start doing after that is I start going through my cupboards uh, to see what pantry items I have. This is when I start um, switching over and making my list of things that I need. Um, because this for me would be really time consuming and tedious to actually write down every single thing that's in the cupboard. Um, if you're new here and you don't know, I go to Aldi once a month and do a big stock up of mostly pantry items and then when I'm going to tops every week all I'm usually grabbing is milk some fresh produce and anything that I think I'm getting a really good deal on so when I'm digging around in my cupboards what I'm looking for are red flags you know what do I see that I'm really low on um, for example up in this corner there is a Tupperware container and you can tell that it's almost empty um, that houses my Bisquick so I know that I am almost out of Bisquick and it needs to go on my Aldi list um, and I just keep going with all the cupboards, you know, am I running out of anything else? You know, maybe I have a lot of canned vegetables, but maybe they're all beans and I need to um, grab some different varieties. It's also a good idea at this point too to kind of uh, play around in your refrigerator as well. You know, maybe my hubby put the barbecue sauce back and the bottle's really empty. Um, you know, I know that I have a bottle of mustard in here, but there's really only one squirt left. Or it could be the other way around. Uh, maybe you thought you were out of something, but once you start cleaning in here and moving stuff around, what you thought you ran out of was actually hidden behind something else. After I'm done taking my freezer inventory and poking around in my fridge and my cupboards, um, after I've got my list of everything that I do have in my freezer and I have my Aldi list sitting here, this is when I start um, brainstorming and start writing down meals for the month. And what you're going to try to do to save as, mo as much money as possible is you're going to try to create meals out of everything that you already have in the house or maybe meals that you might only need like one or two things to pull pull off from the grocery store. So I actually have some construction paper here that I made like 
um, columns of squares kind of to make this look like a calendar. Um, you can just write down 30 meals uh, on a piece of school paper or maybe you have one of those nice planners that has a meal planning section or, you know, just write it on your calendar. But use whatever you have. I did want to do this for you today because I do want to show you a trick here in a minute. So I just made a... 30 squares here for the 30 days of the month of November. Um, and what I wanted to show you, if you're getting overwhelmed by this, and this is driving you crazy, and you're like, I just can't possibly come up with 30 meals, break this down. Um, instead of, you know, going in order and trying to think of 30 different meals, break this down into the days of the week. Um, just work on Sunday. Pick a theme for Sunday night's dinner and just go with that and pick four meals. Um, I did pork. I know uh, sometimes sausage is made out of chicken or turkey. I do have turkey sausage in my freezer, but um, usually it's made out of pork. So I have two uh, sausage ideas here and I have two pork chop ones as well. This is still bothering you. You can actually cover up the other days. Get another piece of paper and just focus on, you know, this is a bad example. I already have these filled in, but you know, as you move along, move the piece of paper over and then just break this down. You only need to think of four so it isn't so overwhelming. I also wanted to mention that uh, I don't meal plan breakfast, lunch. I usually don't meal plan side dishes. Uh, the reason for that is just um, breakfast. I usually just have everything I ha need on hand. My kids aren't crazy about Pop-Tarts and cereal. So it's usually me making homemade muffins or pancakes. I always have eggs. Sometimes I actually have breakfast meat, such as bacon or breakfast sausage. So I don't worry about that too much. Um, and the same as lunch. I usually try to keep some lunch meat in the house, and then usually that's an opportunity to eat leftovers for lunch. And the side dishes... For me, um, I try to use up the fresh produce that I got first. So let me give you an example. Let's say asparagus is on sale really cheap and you, you buy fresh asparagus. Well, you're going to cook that before you're going to get into your frozen broccoli or your canned green beans that you have on your you know inventory list. So... Usually my monthly meal plan, what I mean by that, is just the main dish, what I'm making for dinner. And sometimes I do get stuck or sometimes I am pressed for time and I just focus on, you know, I, I do focus on the meat. But you can see here I just have kielbasa written down. I don't exactly have the recipe written down, don't have the specific idea yet. I can figure that out before dinner, but this is so that you use what you already have and spend less at the grocery store. I already know I have kielbasa. It's on my menu plan. Um, I can figure out that day what I'm going, how I'm going to cook it. So that is what I suggest doing. If you're overwhelmed, just pick a theme, you know, like I said, I picked pork for Sunday. Maybe Monday, do all chicken recipes. You know, maybe Tuesday, have that be like a Mexican theme. And, you know, make enchiladas, make tacos, make taquitos, uh, do tostadas, you know, and so on and so forth until you get every day filled in. I also want you to keep in mind everyone's schedule in your house, uh, your own schedule, maybe your spouse's or your kids if you do have them. But um, get your, you know, calendar out or your planner out 
and just double check everyone's schedule. You know, does your daughter have a volleyball game and you need to make something really fast on a specific night? You know, does your son have a dentist appointment and it's going to conflict with you cooking dinner? You know, go through your schedule and make sure you don't have any dates like that. You don't want to plan an elaborate meal and then, you know, when that day gets there, you have a doctor's appointment or something and you're rushing around. You know, that's the nights that you want to plan ahead and pick a crock pot meal or make a casserole that can be made ahead of time and just thrown into the oven. Also keep in mind um, holidays and birthdays. November is a perfect example for that. Um, it is Thanksgiving coming up and for me it's my youngest son's birthday. So, you know, okay, Thanksgiving, are you hosting? You know, do you need to write on your list? all the things that you need to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Are you not hosting? Are you going to your parents' house or your friends and you can completely cross that day off on your meal plan because you're not going to be cooking or maybe you're doing everyone brings a dish to pass type of situation and you're in charge of the stuffing. You know, and like I said, on Nathan's birthday, I don't, buy my kids birthday cakes I make them myself so when I make my list here of things that I need from the store I need to make sure that I have plenty of baking ingredients on hand so I can make his cake I realize everyone doesn't have the amount of food in their house that I have and maybe you don't shop the way that I do either but I think these are good tips and tricks even if you just do weekly um, even if you, you know, you do go to the store every week or you just only meal plan for the week, these are still good ideas. Um, also when you're meal planning for the month, there's probably recipes that are everyone's favorite. So I have repeats every month. I have recipes that I know I have to make every single month because they're someone's favorite. You know, in my house, that would be tacos. Um, it would be spaghetti. Um, everyone's family is different, but you know what everyone's favorites are. I hope this helps you. I hope you'll try giving this monthly meal plan a try. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.